Hello guys and welcome yourselves back. Today we are going to be going with an episode of The Gun Show. This will be a new series starting on my channel, especially for Battlefield 4, where basically I go over the guns that I feel are my favourites that I enjoy using. I'm not going to be doing every gun in the game like other commentators. Hopefully it's a little bit of a twist, I think the title is quite cool. But today, as you can see on screen, we are going to be looking at the M416. Now I'm going to quickly say a few stats about the gun basic stuff that you want to know before we get into it so it has a 750 rounds per minute fire rate that includes burst as well so even if you put it into burst fire it's still going to be hitting 750 which isn't too bad it's not as high as other guns like the MTAR but it is still very powerful and the max damage of 25 which is pretty average for the assault rifles and a minimum damage of 18. Now the drop off starts at 8 meters and it ends at 55 meters. It has a mag size of 31. This gun, in my opinion, since Battlefield 3, it has been very, very consistent. It used to be probably my favorite gun in Battlefield 3, and if not one of the best guns in that game when it was out. And, you know, although it doesn't have the highest fire rate or the, like, a massive, massive magazine clip, it is still very deadly. And in this game, I believe I switched between the, the red dot sight here and the uh, coyote sight. I haven't unlocked the, the Cobra yet. But I would also highly recommend not using a suppressor on this because when you use a suppressor, you can see me using it in this game, it takes sometimes over range because of the drop off and it's not the biggest rounds per minute, it will take a long time to kill and it can take up to six bullets standard to kill. So if you put a suppressor on that, it's going to make it even worse than it already is and you really do not want to be having to spray half your clip into someone just to kill them, which as you can see sometimes in this gameplay, it's taken me a long time to kill people because... You know, with, with the suppressor, it reduces the, the fire rate anyway. And, you know, it will make, take a lot, lot longer to kill. But generally, this is one of my favorite guns. I'd highly recommend using it. It's one of the, I think it's like the third or fourth gun that you unlock from the assault category. So it is really good. I believe it is only it is only locked to the assault category or the medic class, which many of us refer to it as in the Battlefield community. But I would definitely advise giving this a go if you haven't already. If you play Battlefield 3 and you enjoyed it in there, it is just as good, if not... Well, I don't think it's better, but it is pretty much just as good as it was in Battlefield 3. It's not as ridiculously overpowered because we've got other guns in the game like the Ace-23, the Ace-53, the Ace-52. Guns like that, which, you know, are much, much more powerful than this. But this is still a very good gun to be using, to be rolling with when you are playing Battlefield 4 but I quickly just that's gonna be it for the gun now guys I quickly just wanna kinda give you guys an, a lowdown on what's gonna be going down this isn't gonna be like a really long video I'm just gonna quickly go over the gun give my opinion on it and it's gonna be out once a week I would have thought which should be cool and if you have any suggestions for guns that I could use then leave them down below but they're only gonna be really guns that I like using I'm not gonna be doing all guns because I don't wanna just get awful gameplays of guns that I absolutely hate but I would give this out of 10, I would say this is about 7.5. It's not a bad gun, but it's not the best anymore. And there are plenty of other guns that are much better than the M416. But I still do think it is my favourite gun in Battlefield. Just because I've used it ever since Battlefield 3 when I started playing Battlefield. And you know, it is still a very good gun. So there's no reason not to use it. But there is other guns that can, you know, better it. But I really hope you have been enjoying the video so far, guys. This is a little bit different for me, but... It's mainly just so I can produce Battlefield content every week for you guys to enjoy. I will try to get some squads gameplay up as well because I know some people have been expecting me to... Um, what do you call it? People have been expecting me to upload squad stuff as well because I don't always play in a squad. I, at the moment I'm playing solo and there has been a couple of people who have just said, Look, can we do some squads gameplay? I will be teaming up with some people on Xbox Live. I do only play 360 at the moment. That may be changing in the near future but for now... If you would like to add me, my gamer tag is JoshyXI, capital J, capital XI. Add me on there and just, you know, message me saying, can we play Battlefield for some time? And I'm sure that I will accept. So that is pretty much going to be the end of the gun review, I guess. You know, as I said, the M416, very good gun. Pretty much good for all situations apart from long range. When you get it to long range, it really can be pretty diabolical and you end up missing a lot of your shots, which... You know, for an assault rifle, you don't want to be doing that. You can see up on this roof here, it is just taking so long to try and hit people with these shots. And, 
it is kind of awkward anyway because you're aiming off of a rooftop but because of the way that the damage just isn't that good over range you really want to be using this kind of close quarters i mean you can stick different attachments on it and kind of play around with it but i would say medium to close range is the best for the m416 and it suits its play style much better than trying to do it long range and like conquest or whatever which is why i play domination a lot and i do find that fun i think in this game i did play a bit of obliteration maybe i'm not too sure i think that was actually a game i got afterwards but anyway guys that is going to be the video drawing to a close and look at this this was just crazy this was so funny i walked in here and i didn't even bother to look right and i turned around to this and i look at this like i got oh i'm like one or two bullets off killing that guy and then my ammo runs out but that has been the end of the video guys i hope you have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like if we can hit this to five likes that would be amazing and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>